bass car is uh, driven by an instructor, okay, let it be performed with this car or one of the other formula boards, depending on the, the different sizes of the people. And the instructor is not there to slow the group down. What you do is for the first couple of laps, you go really peacefully until you get used to the car and the gear and the stuff, and then you will gradually build the speed up and you move on to your other sets. Okay? That's the formula. Gradually bringing across to the left, braking cones, so you're braking first, down into third, and down into second. Now, right up to the cone here, late turning because it's a hurdle, tip your right line, bring the car up to the right hand side, the phone, a little dab on the brakes here to steady you, and you go, tipping your right line here, here, and out to the cone on the left, and then you're gradually accelerating, and let it go on out to the left hand side, that's you, and that's you back around the start. So up to your turn end point, you go, and let it drift on out, up into fourth, and gradually use the straight to bring it back to the left. There we go, braking first, turn into third, in you go, gradually start to feed the throttle in, bringing it into your apex, nice and smooth, excellent. Go to the left, braking first. Up to your turn in cone, middle part of the road for the first of it. Once you've turned in, you can start to apply the throttle, bringing it into your apex and letting it drift out. Let it come on out. Still in third gear, still in third gear. That's you up to the chicane, braking cone first, turn in point, and along the white line, up to your cone on the right, left, and gradually accelerate on out. And that's us down the back straight. So you're up into fourth gear. Gradually bringing it across to the left, down to the herping, so it's braking first, turn into third, down into second, right up to the cone on the left, late turn in, clip your white line, up to the cone on the right, again, little dab on the brakes to steady it, then we go clipping your white line here and here, and let her go out to this one here on the left, and gradually accelerate on out, just letting the car come on out, that's you, up to the cone on the right again. Uh, nice smooth turn in, tip your apex, let it come on out. That's it, up on the fourth. Smooth, bend the colonial. Braking first, down into the third, that's it. Into the middle part of the road. Once you've turned in, start to apply the throttle, nice and smooth, and you're bringing it into your apex, straight through. Take it right out to the cone out there, that's you. And use the straight to bring you back. That's the job, perfect. That's the racing line. The most efficient line during the track. In you go, middle of the road. Once you've turned in, start to apply the throttle. Bring it into your apex. Good. There, come on out. Perfect. Excellent. Up to the chicane again, still third. Braking cone first. Turn in along the white line, up to the cone on the right. And left, and gradually start to accelerate on out. That's good. And we're down the back straight again. That's excellent, Jason. That's a really good improvement from the first lap to the last lap, okay? So we'll give you one more. Braking cone, down into third, down into second. Right up to the cone, in you go. Clip your right patch on the right, on the right. Down the brake, and you go. Clip your right patch the right, on the right. Out to the cone on the left. And you start to apply the throttle. And let the car come on out, use the whole road. That's it. Head for your cone on the right. Nice smooth turn in for the left hander. And up into fourth gear. That's it. Bring it back across. Everything nice and smooth. Messing this down. Then into third. And then you go middle of the road. Then you go. Gradually feed the throttle in. Nice and smooth. Put your apex here and here. Out to the corner on the right. And nice and smooth turn left. That's it. Brake in first. Up to the turn in cone. Middle of the road. Off the brakes. Turn in. A wee bit tight there actually. For every foot you turn in too early, you need an extra foot on the way out. So it's very, very important to go into the, you know, on the racing line through the turn. And we go along the white line, up to the cone on the right, and left. Clip your apex, perfect. That's lovely, okay. And we're down the back straight again. Down to the herping. Braking first, down into third, down into second. 
right up to the cone on the left. Slip your apex. Okay, Jason, we're going to nip in this time. So, uh, very well done. Just in the paddock here. Very well done. That's a big improvement from your first lap to your last lap. Okay, first lap you were maybe uh, turning in a little bit too soon and trying to go a little bit too quick initially. Uh, but the last few laps, you have now got on to the racing lines. You're doing all your braking in a straight line, down to your turn-in cone, coming off the brakes, turning in, and powering the car nice and smoothly through the turns. Um, so that's excellent. Very well done. So we just uh, tot up your score here, and then we can give it to uh, give it to. Uh,
just moved up the gas, it just accelerates, it's beautiful. Because motorsport nowadays is all individual. You know, take your indoor car in, you know, 25, 30 men now, you hit the tires or whatever, somebody lets you off the way you go. Uh, karting, karting, you actually come down the corner, you set the kart sideways to scrub the speed off, and then away you go again. Rallying is very similar, you come down, set it sideways, Perkins, you handbrake it, slide it, and drift it away out. Any form of motorsport that's on, like Formula 1, Formula 2, Formula 3, Formula 4, that's on a circuit, you need to drive it as though it's on rails. Any more than 10 degree slip, on a stopwatch, you're losing time. It's as simple as that. It looks good, you know, it's laid away, but you're losing time because you're, you're losing time. Yes. Enjoy yourself. No, it didn't. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Well done again. Thank you very much. Thank you.